Hello, everybody, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing okay today. My infusion went fine, had some trouble, and it's not unusual uh, getting the IV in. Um, they had trouble the day before with my blood work. I, I don't know. So I got stuck about five times altogether between blood work and the IVs. But it happens, you know, especially when you've had a lot of IVs and blood work taken in your life. Thousands of times, I'm sure. Um, okay, on our prayer request, I'm just feeling not not real bad yet. I probably will feel a little worse tomorrow, um, or you know, in the morning, more or less. This is the early, early morning show, of course. But uh, you know, after I get up and stuff, I'll probably feel pretty rough. But my voice is going in and out, uh, and that happens, and. Um, my joints are starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, I don't know why it affects them like that. And um, just feel beat up and stuff. I'm not having any trouble with my stomach yet. If it finds issues, it makes my stomach, it bothers my stomach to, when it's, I guess, fixing them. So, on our prayer request, uh, pray for Deb. They found another spot on her lung. She's in remission for cancer. Pray for all the flood victims in Florida. Continued prayers for Logan's hip to stop hurting. Continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie and her son Michael. Continued prayers for Jackie's side to quit hurting. Uh, Tim is still in the hospital. He's waiting on the list for a liver transplant. Pray he's able to get one. Uh, Leela is going to the doctor Thursday for a post-op check of her eye. Pray all goes well. She has sciatica in her lower back and it takes one and a half hours to go there um, and one and a half hours back pray that her back will not hurt her and I guess Leela uh, you should be back already I imagine of course she lives in Finland so there's a big time difference um, let us know how it went uh, Leela and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll update you on that okay um, Hope everything went well and that your eyes is doing great, I hope. You say it looks like it's healing. I hope it's doing real well. Uh, Lisa pulled her back out and is in a lot of pain. Pray it gets better and stops hurting. Uh, Twyla's surgery was approved to remove a cancerous lump on her cheek. Pray all goes well. That's exactly what we were praying for to happen. So that's a great answered prayer there. And pray for Colleen. She is suffering from sleep deprivation. And, you know, I don't know if I ever could call it sleep deprivation, but I have a hard time, especially when I am having anxiety and stuff, and it's awful. If you're so, you're so tired and you want to go to sleep so bad and you just can't do it, it just, you just won't fall asleep. And, and it gets to you, I'm sure. So hope she gets better too. Okay. I didn't sleep much the past few nights, and the night after I get my infusion, I don't know what it does to me. It makes me like hyper of the evening, and I can't go to sleep. It might be 6 in the morning. You know, it is sometimes 6, 6.30 before I just, I don't know. It's awful. Okay, um, our devotion today, or our scripture today, comes from 1 Corinthians 1, 26-31. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from, Christ, from God, that is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Okay. <clears throat> and our devotion today is entitled, Use Me. <clears throat> James Morris was once described as an illiterate but warm-hearted layman, but God used him to draw Augustus' top lady to saving faith in Jesus Christ. Top lady, the 18th century author of the timeless hymn, Rock of Ages, 
described hearing Morris preach. Strange that I should be brought nigh unto God amidst a handful of God's people met together in a barn and under the ministry of one who could hardly spell his name. Surely this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous. Indeed, God does marvelous things in unlikely places, and through those we may rank as unqualified or ordinary. <clears throat> in 1 Corinthians 1, Paul reminded believers in Jesus that they were an unimpressive lot. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. Though the Corinthian believers were quite ordinary by God's grace, they weren't lacking in giftedness and usefulness. And God, who knows how to put boasters in their place, was at work among them and through them. Do you see yourself as plain, ordinary, or even less than? Don't fret. If you have Jesus and you are willing to be used by him, you have enough. May your heart's prayer be, God use me. Who comes to mind when you think of one who's been quietly but effectively used by God? What can you do to help shift your focus from what you have or don't have to what God can do through you? Heavenly Father, forgive me for focusing on myself and not enough on you. Use me where I am in your holy service. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that <coughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. See what I mean about my voice going in and out? The more I read, the worse it got. So, But it doesn't really hurt or anything. It's just that mainly aggravating. It's a... It's a little sore, but not, not much. Not, not much. To, you know, it'll go away. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great morning. And check out Morning Coffee Break later on. Bye, everyone, and God bless.